Hey guys, what is going on, Lego Man? One, two, three, all back to another video, and welcome back to another news video. Where today in this video, I'll be sharing some pretty recent news throughout the past week or two. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, the first bit of Lego news is that we are getting a Fast and Furious set for the new movie coming out, I believe, early next year, but I might be mistaken. The reason they are postponing it is because with all the global panic going about the coronavirus and all that COVID-19, they are postponing it, but I might be mistaken about that. No, I'm not sure if they're postponing the set to come out when the movie does release, or they're just bringing the set out when the movie was originally going to release, so I'm not quite sure about that. So this is set 42111, Dom's Dodge Charger, and this is from the LEGO Technic line, and I must say, I'm quite disappointed in this. I like the overall design of it, I think it captures his Dodge Charger very well from the Fast and Furious movies. But I think if they made it for Lego Creator, they could have like included a really nice, maybe new mold for Dom and a few other characters from that line. And also a really nice car, making it smooth and all that. Because with the Lego Technic pieces, it just looks like really rough of just the lines and then the pieces they use, especially with the roof that looks really bad, but I do like the front of it with like the headlight design, the bumper, and the wheels do have a really nice design to them as well, but I just really wished LEGO Crater did make. So this, this news is regarding the Minion sets for Minions 2, and it is basically saying that the Temple Plane Lab Minion sets are being moved, but I'm not sure what quite date because of all the Corona virus maybe because they are postponing minions to the movie maybe to early next year but i'm not really sure but for some strange reason the buildable minions and Gru's bike might be still releasing i believe they still are maybe at april 27th but we're just gonna have to wait and see the next bit of lego news is once again from 14 14 falcon fan so once again another Shout out to you, and this is some Lego Harry Potter news. Now these are all confirmed minifigs in the sets. We have five Harry Potter, two Ron, three Hermione, two Luna, I believe one Umbridge, two Centaurs, which is actually really interesting, one Dobby, Averna Dursley, Petunia Dursley, Dudley Dursley, Draco Neville Slughorn, Lavender Bellatrix, and Greyback. Now, some of those minifigs sound really interesting. I can't wait to see what Lego mold and make for those minifigs. Like, they'll have some really nice prints and all that. And then, in the blue, we have the minifigs confirmed for the CMF series, which means custom minifig. So, we have Professor Sprout, which sounds really interesting. Luna, Dumbledore, Kingsley, Neville, Bellatrix, Harry Potter, Monly, Myrtle. Probably saying that wrong. And then, Griphook. Grip hook. Now some of those minifigs sound really interesting like grip hook. Really excited to see what they do with that. Maybe like a really nice new mold for a head and then maybe for Kingsley. That would be a pretty interesting minifig because if I'm not mistaken I don't think we've gotten a Kingsley in any Lego Harry Potter set but I might be completely mistaken with that. And then a Dumbledore minifig I believe that will probably be like Dumbledore from the Chamber of Secrets and then Professor Sprout. I don't think we've gotten a minifig on her in a while, so it's going to be great to get an update on her. And then Bellatrix, can't wait to see what they do for her. But probably my favourite minifig so far from the minifigs listed here would probably be Moni Myrtle. I cannot wait to see what they do with that minifig. Maybe she'd be like translucent because she is a ghost. And then Rumoured minifigs. I'm not sure if this is going to be in the sets or the CMF series. We have Lucius. Lockhart, Rita, Tonks, Ginny, Molly, and Arthur. Now, all those minifigs sound really interesting, especially Lockhart, because I think he's going to be a great minifig. Now, I know a lot of people don't like him in the movies or the books, but I'm not sure about that, so don't take my word on that. But I really can't wait to see what they do with him. And then, even with Lucius Malfoy, I think that'd be a great minifig. Tonks would be cool as well. So, just basically, all these minifigs would be great to get. The next two images are thanks to Pricey Plastic Productions. Now, a huge shout out to him because I also did contact 
him on Instagram if I could use his leaked images. And he did say I could as long as I did give him like credit for it. So the first image is of the Centaur from the Harry Potter CMF series. Now this does look really, really cool. I love, I'm not sure if it's a new mold for the horse, it's like leg part, but it may be the horse leg part, but just without the head on there. So that does look really cool in that color. And I also like how we do have a the arrows in the holster, so that is really cool. And I believe like at the back there, that may be a tail with that like sort of tan color, but I'm not sure. And then the torso print is actually really cool as well. I like the chest on there with like, seems to be like rope, and then like the fur for his leg part. And then his face does look pretty cool as well in that hair piece. And then if we zoom out, we can see, yeah, that is a tail. So that is a really nice minifig. But I'm pretty curious to see, is this minifig going to like fit in a normal minifig series bag? Or like, are they going to have to modify just for this series? And then the next image is a few more minifigs from the CMF series. So the first one is Harry Potter, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to have blue hands. And then the next one is Dobby. Now that looks the exact same as the first series we got for Harry Potter, so I'm not sure, are we going to get like a new version of Dobby? And we do have Grenric, I totally forgot his name, Grenric Greyback, something along the lines of that. I believe that is like the 2010 version, so Bellatrix, we might get new versions for them, or very similar versions to their appearance in 2010. Now, I believe this is Luna Lovegood. Can't wait to get a minifig like her because we haven't got one in quite a while, like in her year like five uniform and all that. And then we do have the Forks mold. And now that looks really cool. I love the design of him or her. I think it looks really cool. And then the molding is great in the colors. And then we do have Headwing with her or his wings like spread out so that does look really cool and also very useful. The final bit of LEGO news for today is that we are getting a Fiverr First Battle Pack. Now the only thing I do know about this set is that everyone who's a LEGO Star Wars fan and also a Star Wars fan has wanted this set for a very long time and I also know MNR Productions has been asking for like this set or been like promoting it for over like a year or so. I've seen a lot of LEGO YouTubers do these videos on the 501st Battle Pack, so I thought I would just include it in this LEGO News video. So firstly, I love the design of this Bark Speeder. I love the parts they use and just the overall design of it. I believe that is, and those are stickers. I also like how the minifigs are getting regular blasties instead of stud shooters. And I also really like the design of this now I'm not sure what this is actually called. I'm probably calling it like a mini AT AT, but that's probably a hundred percent wrong, so very sorry about that. I also like these two stickers there, and maybe that's is a sticker the 501, so that is really cool. I like the design with the legs, and that there's also a sticker down at the bottom and like the ankle part. And then the four minifigs you do get do look really cool as well. I like the colour blue on them, so that is Really cool, and their helmet mold is great. And then we do get two droids here. So I believe this set will roughly go for $29, which I think is a great deal because that's roughly around like two battle packs joined together. So that is really cool. So I might possibly pick this up, but with the Mandalorian battle pack, that sold like crazy. Like, I remember walking in the store one day, and like just two shelves were completely empty of the Mandalorian battle pack. So I'm going to be definitely have to be really fast to pick this set up. So as always guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video as much as I did making it because I really do enjoy making these types of news videos showing my opinion and thoughts on leaks, sets and all that type of stuff. So once again another huge shout out to 1414 Falcon Fan and also Pricey Plastic Productions for letting me use your images I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below on all the LEGO news I did share for today. So as always guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video and I can answer you soon. Goodbye!